This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm doing their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson functions with parameters. Star Chaser. Now you'll need to make all the stars loop around the screen. Do this. Use a for loop inside your loop stars function to make every star in the star array loop around the screen. Okay, so what we're going to do then, let's see here use a for loop in your loop stars function. So let's find our loop stars function, which we created in the last section. To make every star in the star array, and how many are there? One, two, three, four. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. We can do star array dot length. So control, I'm gonna throw this here. Now I'm gonna grab this info, right? This is our calls to our function. Hey computer, run loop star with the word red in it. And why are we putting red here? Well, because then when it runs this function loop star, the color red, and when it puts set property red, so it's going to grab that red star, grab the Y of the red star and change it to the what the Y value of the red star used to be right color, color, red, what the property, uh, what the Y property of the red star used to be, and it's going to add one to it, and that's going to be its new value. So it's going to be moving it. So they want us to use a for loop and have them loop around, right? Going, ooh, what happened there? Oh, I lost one. I'm going to hit control Z. So now how many times do we want to loop? We want to loop around to get every star. So to get every star, we don't have to call it now. I'm not going to ask it to run on blue and on red. I'm just going to use our array here. And first I need to say, how long do I want it to go? Well, I want it to go star array dot length is how long I want it to keep looping. And instead of saying red here, I'm going to use our array and we're just going to go through the list star array. And I'm going to put I here because I is the value in our for loop. I will start at zero. So loop star array zero. Okay, that will grab red from our array and then run loop star function loop star color well what was the color it was array at the index of zero right now which is red and so then it's going to say set property of red what what's red oh it's this thing it's this star get the y property of it and we're going to change it to this we loop through and then we go back to here hit the bottom of our loop go back to the top i is now two because i plus plus adds one and star array i mean i is now one because i started at zero i plus plus is one so uh, the index of one, because remember, we start with index zero. So index one is blue. Do the same thing. Let's go ahead and test it out. But uh, one more time. But uh, <laughs> we did it. Awesome. Let's uh, ooh, look. Ooh, I like the colors. Ooh, one more time. <laughs> awesome let's keep going